another Golden Age comic. Black Hawk number 57. Slavery in Siberia. This is a famous anti-commie 1950s comic. Ooh, the page's cover's torn on this one, I forgot. See that? Torn right down the middle. Black Hawk. I wonder if this inspired the naming of the Black Hawk helicopter. <laughs> it's sort of like a, an elite group of uh, anti commie. I guess it's like an international force. They got a Frenchman, I think. Chinese, little Chinese dude. Asian guy, whatever he is. Getting whipped. Siberia. I don't know, this is kind of like Hogan's Heroes or something, actually. Kind of reminds me of that, but it was before Hogan's Heroes. It's got more action, though, and they're not in a prison camp, but. There's some similarities. It was their fight in the commies, not the Nazis. Just the tone of it. This character here, Chop Chow. I don't know what he's supposed to be. A Chinese person? Kind of a racist. The way he's portrayed is sort of racist. Look at that. I guess he's supposed to be Chinese. Look at that. They probably won't be making a movie out of this group anytime soon with that character. Black Hawk. I'm not really a fan of this title. I'm just filming this because I'm making a record of every damn comic book that I'm selling. <laughs> I don't know why. It's something I decided to do. So one day I can look back on YouTube and say, hey, I used to own all those. Escape at dawn. They always have a hot commie, babe. Cowboy or cowgirl outfit. Six shooter gun. Let me give you a new He Man body. That's kind of weird. Looks like he's holding a little dude on a tray. That's a cool cover, though. Cool. 